in that one. Like I said, the first one, you know, I, I, I could see a lot of judges giving that one to Jared, too. Um, Junior did plenty on that one to win that round. There's no, there's no way to call that first round and say one guy didn't deserve to win it. Um, so this third round should be all telling, you know. I think that both rounds are close enough that whichever way you went the first round, you probably go the other way the second round just to set it up in your own mind, maybe. Good point. All right, this is the main event fight. Ramiro Hernandez Jr. taking on Jared Downing. Both fighters still appear pretty fresh, ready to, ready to go. You know, that's what you get when you get a hard drive guy against a militish guy. It's a lightweight bout. And uh, we are just about set for round number three. Well, look, Hernandez, I think, might catch him here early. I bet she's looking for some big hit to do something. Yeah, if I was cornering either guy, I'd right away just tell him, hey, you need to win this round because, you know, nobody's, just because Jared probably won the second round doesn't mean that he's won the fight. And we are ready. And like we saw with those arm bars earlier too, anything can happen. So, uh, I and mean, this is basically like we're, you know, this is minute one of a, this is a brand new fight. This is one five minute fight right here to see who wins. Third round underway. Jared Downing in the pink trunks, Ramiro Hernandez in the blue and white. A couple punches there by Hernandez. Downing now pins Hernandez against the cage. Downing wants to get him on the ground. A boxing background of juniors there. And Downing gets him down. Finally, we saw some stand-up where one guy uh, appeared to get the better of the other, and it looked like juniors definitely uh, definitely won that, that exchange there, however short it was. Yeah, sadly for Junior Hernandez, he uh, is back on the ground again. I just obviously don't think that's where he wants to be because Downing has controlled. And he really doesn't want to be where he's at either. He's in uh, Jared's corner. So now he's getting all the coaching. You hear him just fine. A lot of times you get out there in the heat of the moment, you forget to breathe is one thing that, I mean, it, as basic as that sounds, so he's got some, you know, he's got people in his ear reminding him, hey, you got to breathe, relax, control, and just keep recovering and bring in another spurt, recover again, control again. Hernandez trying to fight off Downing here. Trying to get some shots in with Hernandez on his back. Downing is pretty, I don't know if this was a plan, but it's pretty effective. I mean, he's basically, if Hernandez's strength is boxing, he's taking away almost any ability to box. That's just his background, though, really. Junior's great everywhere. I mean, as is Jared, so. But it, you have to look at it, you know, size up your opponent and know right. that his boxing got to be better than yours if he's been doing it that many years. So let's just go to the ground where Jared's best, right. you know. Back like you touched on earlier with wrestling being such a good foundation, Jared can take that boxing away and keep putting him on the ground where Jared won most of his fights with his ground and pound. And they're going to let him stand up here. 2.44 to go here in this third and decisive round. It's the main event. Ramiro Hernandez, ooh, he took a couple shots from Downing. Oh, look at that headbutt there, didn't it? Pushes him up against the fence again. Looks like Hernandez walked right into the top of his head and caught it right square in the teeth. Knee there from Downing. Hernandez grabbing. That nice little body lock by Junior there. Looking for the takedown. Pushes him away, tries to throw some hands. And they separate, and we'll start up again. Now Downing back against the cage. Minute 45 remaining. Get some space and then get ready with that knee when he goes for that takedown if I'm junior. Hernandez back against the cage here. With both guys looking for the takedown here, it's pretty safe to say, like, you know, whoever gets his takedown is probably going to win this round. And I know I've trained at both gyms, and just to know, like, both these guys have been through drills where they keep training off a fresh opponent, fresh, you know, a fresh training partner. 
and you have to get the takedown no matter how tired you are. So they've all been here before. You know, they've both been here so many times in practice. Like, get that one takedown, and uh, Jared comes up with it. Minute, just over a minute and change now left here in the third period. I think that Junior's got to do something. He's going to lose this fight. Yep. I mean, Downing is doing just enough. Controlling on top, landing some blows. That big drop was the last Ooh, one. Ooh, grinding one. elbows. That was a pretty good shot to Hernandez. Hernandez looks tired, boy. Hernandez trying to get back to his feet. 38 seconds left. Jared gets the full mount now. And once again, Downing just blowing, uh, blowing, throwing some shots to the face of Hernandez. Nothing real heavy, but just, you know, consistent. Hernandez trying to get out. Good job of Junior bucking out of the mount there. Downing, though, in command here. Working the rubber guard, back to and the that's guard. It. Yeah, well, if we as amateur judges were to judge this bout, Nick, we would have to side with what, Jared Downing? I'd give it to Downing, at least a 29-28. Uh, Junior looks, you know, pretty confident in his performance. Jared doesn't look at all like he uh, likes the way he fought. It's one of those things, man. Did any guy really? Did either guy really lose this fight? Because uh, you, you get two guys like that, they get in there, and they try to chew each other up. I mean, there's, they're both winners here. You know, I think I think Jared came away with a close decision. I know they don't score it this way, but for my money, the person who wins the fight is the guy who's winning at the end. And I don't know that you can really see anybody was winning at the end. And then the next criteria down would probably be like uh, control. So you know, Jared gets to take down. Controls and he actually he did land those elbows and those strikes to the ground. So and we're gonna have the results with our ring announcer. I actually give him Jared some doing credit. Jared doing, doing a zombie walk there for the for ZNA. The, uh, for all the uh, theatrics, you know. I mean, it is a show after all. Usually I'd go the other way on that, but this guy seems he's no. Uh, no phony. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's send it down to our ringside announcer, Mitch Schaub, with our results. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of third round, we have the judges' final decision. John Lavelle scores the fight at 29-28. Mike Davis scores the fight at 30-27. Fran Besson scores the fight at 30-27. Your winner of the main event sponsored by the Diamond Joe Casino by unanimous decision from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Jared the Pink Panther Downing. All right, congratulations, Jared Downing, our main event champion here tonight. Dave. Yeah, Demon Eyes gets the big win. I mean, he's just a young kid, and he's still very new to this game. And like we talked about Schumacher with his bad injury 